Hey, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage. Today we're checking out the King Bolin e Diag. This thing does a whole lot of cool little features. ECU code reading, data graphing, and of course read and clear codes. But let's go ahead and open it right now. So we have our e Diag here. And as with most of these, there's an app that goes along with these. So we're going to go ahead and download the app right now. And there's some manual paperwork in here, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and get the app downloaded and installed. And then I have a CRV. The check engine light just came on, so we're going to go ahead and get that scanned and see what we find out. Let's get started. Looking at the paperwork here, we have the eDiag app, and we downloaded that on the screen here. You can see that now. So we have the app up and running and the serial number and activation code are right there on this actual paperwork, so make sure you open this, but you can't connect this, you can't actually pair this and activate it without power going to this, so we're gonna go connect it to the CRV right now to give it power and then punch in the activation code. So let's go do that right now. We have the app up and running here, and we're gonna plug our eDiag in on the CRV. It's right here next to the center console. So just plug this in here, make sure it's right there. And it has power, you can see on the bottom, it actually turned green, so that's a really nice feature. So we're hop in the CRV here, turn the key on. And we should now be able to pair this. So let's see, we'll go into the My Devices. And we're going to add a device and it wants the serial number so we're going to punch in the serial number Nine, one, five, six, seven, four, four. there we go so we're going to hit activate activating now you can see on the screen and in the video here congratulations we did it uh, let's see here. Please visit eDiag store, download, download the software you need. Uh, let's do installed already because I think we already have. The software will be automatically downloaded for you. Please take attention, cellular data, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Okay. So let's go into all system diagnostics, permission settings. Apparently we need to turn the location on, so we're going to do that. Uh, this vehicle info is decoded database. Let's see if it will decode the VIN. Okay, so we're downloading auto search software right now. So I'll give this just a minute here. And through the magic of editing, presto, it's fully uploaded or fully downloaded, whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. So now it is decoding the VIN. And this is actually changing colors. You can't see it here, but the eDag just went from green to what looks like blue and or purple. And it's either hacking my uh, CRV or we will know the VIN here shortly. So the software started. This is actually, this software is actually working pretty similar to uh, the ThinkDiag, the, the video that we have uh, recently here. Now we're uploading, and I'm sorry, downloading the Honda software. So that's nice that it actually intelligently knew that the software needed for this vehicle based on the VIN. So it's a nice feature. Look at that, 2005 CRV. And it's reading something again here. So let's see what uh, comes up next. Okay, so let's choose USA. And you might not be able to see it, but it says 2% right there. You'll also see it on the screen recording we have on the screen. Now it says 57%. 
There we go. You're making model. Let's do a system scan. So we missed the end of the system scan here, but it found all of these items equipped in this 2005 CRV. And what you didn't see, I was gonna literally scroll through this, but there were everything from multi-vehicle camera systems to electronic parking brakes uh, and a whole host of like a whole, like ton of different things. So there's actually a lot of functionality and technology built into this scan tool. So this is everything that it found. So we're gonna go, we're gonna see if we can find the actual uh, ability to scan codes. So let's see if we can find the vehicle code scanning here. And we'll see if we can graph some data as well. That 57% and 65%. our information let's do a service function so there's actually a whole bunch of oil light reset throttle sensor reset steering angle sensor reset I mean for a plug-in tool like that this is really nice uh, tire pressure sensor reset a mobilizer key programming that's amazing to see that in there uh, and then there's a bunch of other stuff. Windows calibration, seats calibration. Let's go to system selection. And there's a ton of stuff in here. Let's back out of here and see if we can find, there we go, OBD functions. So let's see if we can actually scan for our codes and the e-diag just uh, made a little sound and it's blue again. Okay, so this is just like the Think Diag video we did. OBD2, OBD2 SAE, J18, and so on. These are the different protocols they use inside vehicles, uh, GM or Toyota or Suzuki or whomever. And it'll fail through all of these. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of my Jeep. 2000 Jeep Cherokee uses the ISO 9141-2. This one, I'm actually not sure what this one uses. So we'll find out in a second here. I'm guessing it's 9141, but it'll fail through these until it makes a connection with the car. And it's probably these one of these bottom two. There we go. It's connecting with the car now. So there's my VIN. And I have one data trouble code. Can I click on this? Match, there we go. So I have one data trouble code that it won't let me, there we go. Okay, so here's the actual like functionality, like uh, graphing of data. So let's look at my read fault codes. Okay, so I have two P420s, and this most likely, when you see P0420, most likely that is a O2 sensor, and so I'll have to look at that and see if I can get that, uh, get that replaced here soon. Well, let's read some live data, and let's check the coolant temp sensor, or coolant temperature, and let's see, the engine RPM, and we'll check the air intake air temperature, and we'll do OK. Okay, so 147 degrees, we'll start the car. There we go. And you can see the graph on the side here, so we'll graph our engine coolant. So there's that. And I doubt revving it up will do any diff make any difference, but we'll try it. We'll go back to the engine RPM, that one will be a lot more responsive there we go let's see I'm about 1500 rpm on the tachometer yeah that's pretty darn close that's pretty much spot on right there based on where I'm at in the uh, engine rev on the tachometer so and if you wanted to record it 
now you're recording it, you can actually see, like if I wanted to take the next step and say, I think these two or three sensors maybe you're getting out of spec and that's what's triggering the check engine light. Suddenly I have recorded data that I can actually review and compare it to like the OEM factory spec. So really, really intelligent uh, functionality built into this, this tool. So we're all done scanning the car here and to wrap things up, make sure you take this out of the car. So if you're a shop owner, you don't inadvertently give it to a, f a customer for free, but uh, overall great, great unit. Uh, the EDAG unit is something that you can put in your glove box, put in the uh, little center console here for myself, and then uh, have it on the side of the road while my car quit running or oh, my, en my check engine light popped on. Great for a DIYer to take it to the next step. Uh, great little quick tool for a shop owner. Really, really great secondary thing if you, need, you have a car roll and you need to scan something really quick. Uh, really speaks to how far these things have come in the last 10 years. I mean, it wasn't long ago. It was just a little tool that just gave you a code when you scan the, the code in your car, literally just a code on the screen and that was it. And those things cost a lot of money, over $100 in some cases, but uh, can't recommend this enough. And uh, if you like muscle cars, if you like classic cars, if you like JDM, if you like Chevelles and Chargers and Mustangs and Fairlanes and, and uh, Fusion car repair videos, because we got plenty of those too, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. No, because no. okay. in reality, we want it. We want it to go by your hand. Yeah. Because then I'm gonna cut in the footage of where it.